Hi everyone, follow along as I build Grady's Amazing Wingsuit. This will be a short uh, video overview of how it goes together, not a complete build, but I hope this helps. So let's get started. So this is the uh, wingsuit kit from RC Depron. It's a small box. Here's what you get, you get um, motor mount, standard motor mount, This is all the parts for the helmet. More motor mount parts. You got core plast for the center structure. That's the vector thrust kit. And a whole bunch of three millimeter and six millimeter jumper. Find all the sheets are numbered. Looks like we have 18 sheets. I don't know if you can see, but every sheet that gets bent has score marks in it, so you'll be able to make folds. Very nicely cut. The rest of the core plants, which gets folded out and glued. So that's basically the kit, 18 sheets. Here's a short video of what the kit looks like uh, all taken out. I spread this out on the deck to show you all the parts. Quite a few parts, but uh, it goes together pretty well. Um, just follow along with the PDFs and the Flickr account. There's uh, like 400 shots that uh, kind of guide you through the build. Lots of notes on the PDFs too, so use both of those and you should be able to build this thing. This is the sheet of the 6 mil core plastic. This is actually will be the arms. Uh, plywood motor mounts, nicely die cut. This is part of the uh, head kit. This is where the head will mount. The head is actually foam that you'll form into the head. Some more plywood parts. This is the uh, turning motor mount kit for the vector thrust. There's a lot of notes on the actual plywood parts that show what needs to be taken off when you do the turning motor mount. So, very well labeled. Some more of the chloroplast. Every sheet has a page number on it that corresponds to a page on the PDF file. There's 20 pages. There are a few discrepancies, but for the most part they matched up pretty good. You'll see the score marks there. I use a small felt screwdriver and just scribe them along a ruler, but they're nicely cut out, so very obvious where the fold marks are. The sheets are nicely die cut. They practically fall out. Just a few tabs to cut. So the first thing you want to do is print out all the PDF files. There's uh, 20 pages. Each page has all the parts marked out with uh, lots of extra information on it as far as how to assemble it. So make sure you read all this because it's going to save a lot of time if you see what you're doing first. Here you can see all the... Um, Fold lines are marked out, and each one has an angle set to it. So I notate that also. Now I think you'll find if you um, take each sheet and match it up to the numbered foam sheet, and make sure you tape and mark what it is, like this is a calf sheet, so I would mark calf on there. The score marks are real obvious on the foam, it's very easy to see what needs to be scored and bent. Really nicely done. So here's page two on the PDF, and this is page two of the sheet. What I'll do is I'll just take and mark each part, label them, take them out of the sheet, and then we'll start building after that. A lot of these sheets will have actually two with the same page number because you have a right and left part. So like here's two page threes. So this will give you an idea of the score lines and the angles that you'll need to form as we build it. So this is page three, like back of foot. 
Once again, I've got one more piece. I'm not sure what it is, but it'll show up. I did count all the sheets. There's uh, more than 18. There's actually 28 sheets if I counted right. So a lot of foam, a lot of laser cutting in this kit. So this will be page two marked out. So I, I'll make sure I put a page number on there and then describe the parts. So I can go back to the PDF file if I need to. Like on page two, it actually showed the bottom corner being the crotch side skirt, but there's two other pieces. So I'll have to locate those later and see what those are. So page seven shows the shoe, but it's actually something else here. Um, looks like this is the front crotch skirt from page two. So that's where that guy was that we couldn't find. So in my kit, uh, page 12 is actually page 15. There's two sheets of it. It's the front skirt. You want to catch that. So my page 15 on the PDF is actually 17 on this sheet of foam. It's the elevator, the elevons, the elevon backers. Next step is remove all the parts. Make sure you keep all this scrap because you'll need this later for uh, some of the butt joints to have a strip that connects the two butt joints together. So you need quite a bit of that. I found the upper cape pieces on page 7 are actually on sheet 14. There's two of them. When cutting the parts out, there's like a right and left piece that are mirrored. I try to keep those together in the pile. Here's a shot of the whole sheet just to clarify that part. And there's two of them. It's called the cape by the thigh. So the piece on page 13 is actually on page 1. You'll need to purchase 16 pieces of carbon fiber that are listed on the supply sheet. Um, blender and tape, 3 or 4 rolls of that for sure. Uh, foam tack, or I use BSI foam glue. Um, want a good foam glue. A good protractor that's adjustable, a small one. And I use 5 minute epoxy for some of the butt joints and the carbon fiber. CA for the parts where you're going to bond them with thread. Some of the carbon fiber gets bonded with thread. So the first thing we do is locate the leg parts is the right and left for each leg. There's also a part marked foot that gets glued. So you want to tape the joints and then fold them over and I put 5 minute epoxy on these. I like code 5 minute epoxy. There's some tabs to line up the legs. So there's three parts for each leg. These are the backers for the legs. These two pieces will get glued together. You can see, see it on the leg installed. Same thing there. Always blender and tape on the back of the joints and then I glue them. On the PDFs they show one and a quarter inches on the uh, carbon fiber sticking pass. You'll need to have the carbon fiber stick pass because it's going to get bonded with thread to the coroplast center section. You know, step coming up. I just use 5 minute epoxy, rough up the carbon fiber. Notice the tab on the foot, that's just made from a piece of scrap just to help support the joint. Because you'll be launching from the feet in the future. This is a coroplast center section. There's a doubler on each side. The one on the right side actually has that V at the bottom. The V is where the carbon fiber rod will actually push through one of the flutes on the coroplast. And there'll be one on each side that'll crisscross. It's, it's very well shown on the PDF file. So basically just insert the carbon fiber rod through the coroplast flute. Then I'll zip tie the intersecting uh, carbon fiber together. I let my carbon fiber in the very front stick out further because I'm making a Mysterio. Here you see I cut some scrap out of the 3 mil. Where you connect the um, legs, there's actually two triangular pieces that give you the right angle for the legs. See them right here. I put the first part of the skirt in there. There's actually three pieces of the skirt. I just use that to keep all my angles correct. So that skirt piece you see on, on the back there is not actually glued in yet. I just use that for a reference. There's three pieces to the skirt. These will get taped and 
glued together. So do the bottom two first, glue them, and then do the top piece. So I just use blender tape on the back side and epoxy on those again. I like to keep something to keep the legs straight while I'm gluing things together, but notice how the tabs pull through for the, the skirt. They get glued to the center section there. So basically that's uh, where we're going to stop with the first step here. Thanks for watching.